Hey everyone, it's me, Excanadensis. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll-related videos every single day, and today's video is going to be a doll merch review. I love doing these. So I found this at Walmart for $20, and it is this absolutely massive Rainbow High art set. And don't worry, I'm gonna show you guys the packaging a lot better. So this is called the Super Sketch and Create, and this is by the Horizon Group, which is a merchandising company, and they tend to do stationery-related stuff. They do some other stuff too, but um, I love their stationery stuff, and I'm really excited about this set because it comes with like gel pens and all sorts of different Rainbow High School supplies. Let's take a closer look at the packaging before we get out of here. So it says there's 350 plus accessories. I think that's referring to individual stickers. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, the numbers tend to be kind of random, but I love this because it features series two characters all over. So you can see Stella, Crystal, Amaya, Karma, River so cool and i'm loving oh no <gasps> broken crayon that's okay <laughs> um loving all this stuff I'm the foiling right here too so cute all right and then i'm gonna flip it over so we can take a look at the, See the manifest here so yeah definitely it is the stickers that are counting towards that total really cool i love the sketchbook with stella on the front i'm really excited about that stella is such a cutie i really like that character <laughs> And then this is the barcode here in case you guys are looking for it. And I got this at Walmart for $20. So now I'm going to get it out of the packaging so we can take a look. I'm unboxing this now, but I just wanted to show this. Um, it's quite empty other than what you can already see in the packaging. So the size of the package really is not justified. But I do think that this is meant to be like a fun, like giant set under the Christmas tree. I don't know. Could have came with more pieces of paper, maybe. So this is everything that the set comes with, and we're going to go through all of this in much more detail. I really love these little die cut pieces, and this foil print is so cool. I wish there were more of these. There's only one. And then all of the different little art supplies. All right, y'all. Now we're going to go through and check everything out. So we have some crayons. There's a lot of colors in here that were not included in the other sets that have come with crayons in the past, if I recall correctly. I only have one other set that ever came with crayons, and it came with very few. I really like the Stella pink color. I mean, these are just crayons that they have put wrapping on, so they're not as interesting to me, because it's just... I don't know, but these actually have Rainbow High printed onto them, which I quite like. So we have markers, and again, they're including colors that they don't normally include, so that... I mean, Series 2 can be accommodated is what I imagine, which I do appreciate. They still don't include as many as you would need for the Rainbow High characters, like, <laughs> for all the ones included here, like River, but, you know, it's a start. Definitely no Jade. I would assume this is more Karma's style, but I don't know. Sometimes the ink colors don't quite match the barrels either, which is fine. Yeah. So we do have Bella, Stella, Ruby, though, and those are the main characters that they're advertising with the set, so. Uh, but... I would not recommend using these markers with the really beautiful die cuts and stuff. I would recommend using, like, some kind of colored pencils that you already have. And then we have the gel pens. Very simple. The barrels just say Rainbow High on them. Um, but I really like them. Very, very cute. And we will be testing these out and seeing how nice they are <laughs> as gel pens in a little bit. First, I want to go over everything that's in here. And then these are my favorite parts of the set, which I wasn't expecting. They're, like little coloring pages but they're all unique in in the sense of like you don't see this stuff on merch usually it's really cool so this is their grit love action moxie glam thing that they do on merch but almost nowhere else it's also on the amazon listings for the dolls if you're curious like they always say this like at rainbow high g l a m grit love action i have no idea um so this is karma bella and stella it's very very cute and then here, I love this one too. This one is like maybe a sticker. This one just feels unusual. I don't know. I don't think so. Anyway, so it says Bella, Stella, Carbon Crystal. I super like this one. You could cut it and have each one be its own, or you could have them combined like this. I wish there were borders between them so that when it's combined, it makes more sense. Because this, I don't know, if it had like the borders like this, that would be pretty cute. It's really cool. And then this is, so you might recognize this one if you've been watching my videos. This one was actually used, this exact piece of artwork was used on the Rainbow High sock set. It's right on the front. And it's just the Series 2 girls. So you have Amaya, who looks very, 
very like who is that when she doesn't have her hair streaks colored in like I was like who is that um Crystal, Karma, Bella, and Stella and then this is super cute too it's got Bella and Stella and it says RH really really cute this which is on like a harder paper oh this actually is embossed so this would be super fun to color oh yeah look at that you see that and it's just the series two i call these the billboards like it's on the back of the box basically it's the box art love that super super cute and i appreciate that stella is giving us a dynamic pose amaya kind of is too and rubber is included on this one if that's something you care about and then this is the best one this is like a foil thing i super like this one really really cute although look at karma and amaya's faces <laughs> karma has different eyebrows but i think that's about it yeah <laughs> without the colors on the key art sometimes it's like who's that supposed to be and then we have this this i'm actually insulted by a little bit so this is supposed to be a stencil um i'm pretty sure you're supposed to use it with the markers too which makes this even worse but it's made out of cardboard um and not even like thick cardboard it's just kind of like coated cardstock like so even just from packaging it's already bent in some places you can see and this would not hold up to actually being used which is a huge shame um so it's some fine designs that would be fun to do like i really like crystal's little headband here but yeah this um would not recommend using ever it would fall apart into a million pieces and then we have the stickers i'm so excited about the stickers We're like what is this like i do not recognize this <laughs> i love this part specifically this is gonna be a really nice sheet to display i love 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 this and then we have the series two box art but with this like cool rainbow kind of like the store displays tend to have i like the this is on Tessa's jacket, but I don't know if we had seen it before that. Maybe in winter break, I don't recall. And then this says sparkle, and it's just kind of an alternate rainbow, kind of. Looks like we don't have any blue or purple. It's very cute. Pick your color. Fashion. This is on the wall of the dorm house, I'm pretty sure. It's fun to see where these assets are used, because these are the kind of, like, kit that they send off to people making things like this to use. Love the neon sign here. That's what stickers are honestly really good for, is, like, we're getting the PNGs just right here. These are the PNGs they send out. Super, super cute. So, Amaya's color is rainbow there. Oh, and there's, like, studs? Rhinestones? I don't know. But can you imagine using these in your little artworks and they each have the MGA copyright? <laughs> I understand why they do that, but it makes things a little tricky here. And then this is... Sorry, it was like a little bit warped. This is that little thing from the front of the sock thing. I really like that. I hope it ends up on a shirt. Super, super cute. And then this, what is this? I don't remember it. Is it from River? It says R. I don't, I don't remember that at all. And then you got Rainbow High, but this is the cool colored character. So this is pretty cool. This is that RH again, but this one's in color. See, I'm wondering if this company created these little things or if MGA sent them out like this. I don't know. And then you can see the cool colored girls again. I really like these three together. They look really cute together. I don't know. And this like rainbow. Pretty cool. And then we have one more actual sticker sheet like that has interesting designs on it. I love that one. And then you can see the Grit Love Action Moxie colored in. That was Skylar? <laughs> wait. No, I'm thinking of something else. Sorry, I was like, wait, 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 wait. No, this is a different Grit Love Action Roxy. I don't know. <laughs> this says Rainbow Sparkle Magic in the really cute Rainbow High font they have. Oh, I love these ones. I desperately wish that sets like this would come with doubles of the sticker sheets, because I'm always scared- Oh, I like the- that's the NASCAR one, right? I'm always scared to use the stickers because, you know, I like having them on the sheet and stuff. But, like, this is- oh my god, I want to use those so bad. They're so cute. So, so cute. And then we have this one, which is just letter stickers. Which, this is where they're getting that 300 plus in the- <laughs> And the thing, the set that's like, we come with 300 accessories. The accessories in question. <laughs> anyway, now we have the sketchbook. So I'm going to move the camera up just a little bit so that you guys can see the artwork on it. So this is the front. It says Super Sketchbook. And the set is called Super Sketch and Create, so that's why it says Super on it. And 
It's pretty cute. It's just a simple little pad, so you can see that it's just glued up here. Super cute. And then I was shocked when I was unboxing this because the back, look at that. That's that Skylar Crystal Karma one. So I have that in color now. So I really like displaying all the little sketchbooks and journals and things that I have as Rainbow High merch. So I don't know which side I'm going to use because Stella doesn't really get featured on a lot of merch, even though Series 2 does. You don't really see big, prominent Stellas. But I, I think I prefer this side. I just like the color story here a lot better because this is just like pink and red, obviously. But I like this because it has more of a rainbow thing going on. I don't know. And then... I'm going to move the camera because we have a lot of things to look at in here. All right, so now let's take a look inside of our super sketchbook. Also, these are stickers. That's why they felt a little bit thicker. These are die cut coloring stickers. And I really like that they're not that plasticky material that a lot of stickers tend to be, even if they're made for coloring, because you can actually color on these. It wouldn't cause a problem. Cool. And then super sketchbook. Let's see what's inside. So first you get some close-ups. So here we have Bella. <laughs> Sorry, I was genuinely uh, lost on that one for a second. That's Bella. This is Stella. I love you, Stella. But see, Stella's obvious because she actually has like a hairstyle. Bella should have been because of this headband, but I don't know. And then we have... Oh, no. This one's kind of faded. Maybe that's on purpose. No, I don't think it is. I don't know. Looks kind of cool, though. Up here, it's like fades out. It says Grit Love Action Moxie. I really like the little sparkles that they included, but why is this one on Crystal's face? I don't know. This is super cute. And then here we have Radiant Week. The girls celebrate Radiant Week by making out-of-the-box innovative show-stopping creations. This can be a song, an outfit, or anything you can think of. Think of. Draw or create... Oh my god. Draw or write your creation below. Sorry, I was reading a lot faster in my head than I was speaking it. <laughs> um, oh, and then we have this again. I really like this, and I love being able to see it in line art form. Although what I'm pretty sure is going on is that this is created and sent to Horizon Group, and then Horizon Group is creating the line art of it. <laughs> and then we have... You've been accepted into Rainbow High. What do you wear on your first day and what is your focus? And it says pick your color there. That's very cute. We're going to have to do this one. We're going to do this one. And then we've got Karma and Skylar, I think. Is that... I think that's Amaya. Yeah. Yeah, that's Amaya. No, that had me confused because of the t-shirt. But um, Amaya has a t-shirt underneath with this outfit. Okay. Amaya. <laughs> I'm sorry, like, I don't know. <laughs> and then here we, ooh, I like this one. Okay, so this one says Rainbow Sparkle and Magic, and it's got the Series 2 girls on it. And then, okay, you meet Amaya at the Color Change Chamber. Draw yourself after the transformation, so she's done our hair. I'm gonna have to do that one. And then Grit Love Action Moxie, and this one has River on it, which is unusual because the other one does not. It's interesting how many different forms of this they've made. You see? So we have Karma. Oh, no, this is Bella here. Or, no, that is Crystal. That is Crystal. I'm sorry. I, I missed this piece. Yeah, so... Huh. That is popped river right there where Skylar was. Which makes more sense. This is Series 2. But I like the mixture of, like, characters. I would love to start seeing Series 3 merge so we can see them mixed in. Ooh. Create an outfit before the fashion fates can intervene. It's a rainbow race. And then you've got that little NASCAR thing there. That's cute. They actually like themed that one. Uh, this paper's quite thin, by the way. I keep accidentally bumping it. Um, and then we have River and Crystal. Here it says Rainbow High, and it's got them, the Series 2 girlies in there. Very cute. And then it says Draw Yourself and the school's unicorn statue. That unicorn statue would be hard to draw because it's all like prismatic but god this has a lot of pages i'm impressed and then we have rainbow high so this would keep this would keep a kid busy or me busy for a long time and then we have it's the color block party draw you and your bff party ready and it's color block party so this is referencing like actual things going on like this is really cute i wonder if they send like a brief with the merchandising guide like this is what the color block party is. Um, match each student to their saying. Oh, that's tough. <laughs> um, so be bold like the rainbow. I'm going to guess it's Amaya's. Um, if you didn't hear it from me, you didn't hear it. It has to be karma, right? I fancy a bit of fabulous as unfortunately Stella. Own it. I would. Oh, God, I have no idea. You don't have to be perfect to be amazing. Um, hold my phone. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna assume this is River because I'm thinking of, like, no, this is, 
Man, I don't know. Well, I got these three. <laughs> I wonder what Bella's is. Okay, we're gonna make guesses. I think this is Bella. That's gonna be Crystal. And then this is gonna be River. Those are my guesses. Oh, it says, okay. <laughs> Bella goes to four. Oh. Okay. Um, this goes to B, obviously. C is six. So, Crystal... Oh, Karma's holding my phone. What, what is this one? Okay, D is five. You don't have to be perfect to be amazing. C, I would never have gotten that. E is two. If you didn't hear it from me, you didn't hear it. That makes sense. Okay, I got that. I'm just thinking of content with Karma, but... Um, and then F is um, cut off, but since you can do process of elimination, it's one. It's Amaya. Okay. It's actually really challenging unless you read the bios on the website regularly, which I actually don't. And then we have this one, which I really like. I'd love to see this one in color. It's like a tiled version. And we've got Amaya, Crystal, and Karma here. It says Rainbow High. Here it says, you're invited to the Top Secret Sleepover Society. <gasps> Design a sleep mask and make a friendship pizza. See, how cute is this? I love this. Usually with merchandised stuff, you never see like direct references to the show like this. That is so cool. Dang. Where are the super secret sleepover? I always call them super secret. Where are the top secret sleepover society merchandise kits, things? I don't know. Um, this is Grit Love Action Moxie with Karma, Stella, and Bella. If I get any of these characters from their line art wrong, I'm sorry. At a glance, it is very difficult here. And then this one says, your BFF's been accepted to Rainbow High. What did they wear on their first day? And what is their focus? Angel, what are you wearing on your first day to Rainbow High? Let me know. <laughs> All right. So... Now I'm going to go get some different colored pencils because we'll still test these out, but I want to actually like get in here and do some artwork. So right, Hold friends, on it's time to test out our art supplies. So we're going to start with the crayons. This is what they look like. So here's our light pink. Love that color. Um, these are not... <laughs> it's actually quite difficult. Oh, wow. That has like a congregate of colors that are not the color that I'm... Interesting. What's this darker purple coming from? I don't know. Um, these have a lot of resistance to using them, and you can kind of see why on the crown itself. So here's the red. Ooh. That one is actually quite nice to use. So my standard for a crayon, I'm not picky. I don't know a lot about crayons in general. But my standard is the Crayola crayon, just because that's the one that I'm used to. And these are definitely a lot more, like, scratchy feeling than those. Okay, the yellow feels fantastic to use. That one feels really nice, but it does leave a lot of little bumpies in there. Well, except for the Stella one, I'm not mad at this. It's weird. A lot of the colors will leave, like, a darker streak. Ooh. This is a beautiful color, and it's very satisfying to use. Love it. Let me zoom in a little more. And then we have the darker blue, which actually is not very dark at all. It's actually lighter than the other one. Interesting. <laughs> And then we have purple, which is quite light compared to what you'd expect to come out of that crayon. In fact, it's almost identical to that color. And then we have the peach color. This one's not bad, thankfully, because I don't think I have that color in my crayons or my, my colored pencils that I brought over. And then this one. Hmm. That one leaves a lot of streakies, unfortunately. And then one all right so those are our crayons i really appreciate because often sets like this will will be like it'll have characters that aren't just like this exact skin tone that you they want you to color but it doesn't give you other skin tone options and although these are you know not representative of the actual characters i appreciate that they at least made an attempt and i will give them that all right, and then let's use the markers now. So I would not recommend using these in the sketchbook. We will try it to see, but I'm pretty sure these would bleed through. And these are in no particular order because they're not on a nice little tray. Um, I am pleasantly surprised by these. They are pleasant to color with. So that's cool. I think the colors are... See, the color payout, like, that's just not what I expected. I like it, though. That's a beautiful color. I want a rainbow hide all in that exact color. Eh, Simone's pretty close to that, you know? Simone is pretty close to that. This one, I bet, is going to be gorgeous. 
Uh, no, I'm not a fan of that one. Also, these make kind of a horrible scratching sound when you use them on paper, but that is honestly expected. There's the yellow. It's a color order I'm using here. Oh, oh, I thought this was pink again. I'm pretty sure this is red. Yeah, so that's our red. Still has a, this looks pink to me, like the barrel of the marker. And then we have green. Okay, I love this green. This is a beautiful green. Um, is the color story really, really confusing? Yes, but I like it. Okay, um, I don't mind these very much. And then we have the gel pens. So let's see how these are. We're gonna be writing some rainbow highism with each one. So here we have magic. We'll do like a little, yeah, yeah. Not bad, it's not unpleasant to write with. Um, and then we have, we're gonna do grit. Sorry, there's six of them. That is a horrible, like, what is that? Um, I'm making fun of my own handwriting, by the way. The pen is fine. Okay, grit. Love. I mean, they're fine. They're passable. <laughs> Action. We're gonna put a question mark by this one, because, like, I don't know what that even, what do they mean by that? Um, the ink is, like, kind of wet. I've never experienced that with a gel pen. And then... Ooh, I like this color, but can't really see. Oh, wow. Okay, that one didn't, um, I know it's hard to tell, but this one didn't actually. Moxie. Okay, there's Moxie. So those are our colors there. I would not recommend using these on any of the things included in the set because they might cause, like, I mean, I just wouldn't want this to happen to my pages. All right, so are any of these passable? Yeah, they are, but um, I would highly recommend not using them because we want our super sketchbook to look super, don't we? Also, I'm surprised this doesn't come with a pencil of some sort. I really want some Rainbow High pencils. Colored pencils, pencil pencils, mechanical pencil, get on that, mechanical pencil, go, go, go. Okay, anyway, now I'm gonna pick a page and we're going to color in the coloring book. So we are going to color on this and we're only going to use the supplies that the set came with just so we can test like how, if they bleed through essentially is what I care about. So we're gonna start here with this green for Karma's hair. See, I just, I hope this paper is thicker than it feels because otherwise the one of the best quality pieces I mean, I don't know how good quality this is, but it feels nicer to use than, say, the crayons or especially the gel pens. Um, but if it bleeds through, that would kind of suck. And I'm also trying my best not to cause a lot of overlap because well, that just wouldn't be super fair, I think, because then it would be more likely to bleed through. Although I will say, for a kid's set, you kind of want to address that. Also, we don't have a brown marker, so... Okay, so that's where we're going with... Karma's hair. We're just going to do some parts. Um, for brown, she kind of has a warm brown, which we don't have, but I promise to use the things that are in this set, so let's see what we can do. Ah, oh, these crayons are so weird. Like, they just feel awkward to use. I don't know. Um, Alright, her eyes are much, much darker brown than that, so... Um, I want to add some, like, red, maybe? Because she has a warm... Well, that just makes some red. Sorry, I don't know anything about, like, blending crayons and stuff. Maybe this is something that actually can be achieved. Uh, I made her look weird. <laughs> okay. I don't know how I feel about that, but it's okay. Okay, now let's try one of the gel pens. So I really like this blue color, so we'll use it for... I'm pretty sure these were gold on River's hat, but, you know, we don't have to abide by the law here. We can just have fun with it. And the blue gel pen was a good choice because this is the one that is the most, like, pleasant to use, I feel. It was... It was nice. It feels nice to use. It's just It's kind of awkward to color with a gel pen, but it's fine. Okay, so we've done some of those. So now we've used every one of the mediums. Okay, the crayons I rate like a 0 out of 10. They were atrocious to use. They feel very unpleasant in this particular situation. Okay, Karma's outfit is actually kind of this color. Her hair is not... Her, no, actually, you know what? That is her hair color, isn't it? Well, I already used the green. That does not match at all. <laughs> um... All right, so 
I'm gonna use the markers in one more place just so we can judge the bleed through. Um, well, which marker? I don't want to just do Crystal's eyes because Crystal's eyes are like a darker purple color. We're gonna do this little bow thing. Just being careful not to. Did you think this would turn into like a coloring video? Is that even a thing? I imagine it must be. All right. So I can't really shade with this is the problem. So I'm like trying to, but I can't for obvious reasons. I'm going to do the life hack for people that accidentally get outside the lines and then want to throw away their whole picture. Create a little border first. All right. Um, wasn't the best idea, but we did it. Okay. Now let's see if there's any bleed through. I hope not. I really hope not. Okay, so we didn't get on the other page, and this isn't double-sided, so. This is passable to me. I mean, this is really nice. Crystal's area got a little bit more glued through there. And then with the gel pens, it's not too bad at all, honestly. Huh, okay. I'm not mad at that. All right. So now I am going to switch to my own supplies. So this page is the Amaya Color Change Hair Station. I did like a side profile view because I wanted to like have the hair all stretched out, but then I didn't end up doing that. So just kind of looks weird. And then I'm not the biggest fan of the color scheme that I chose, but we're sticking to it. Sometimes Amaya doesn't have the best hair color picks. Right, I don't know. This is me um, after the Amaya Color Change Chamber transformation. I was like, hey, can we leave my hair partially brown because I still have to go to work. So this is what we've come up with. Wow. Also, um, if this exact, listen, this exact color, please release it on a rainbow hide all. Um, also, I never color. Ever. So, sorry that the colors are weird. <laughs> um, yeah, this is really fun though. Like, the prompts are really creative. So even if, like, on the, which I couldn't find the other one. I swear there was one that just said, like, when you get into rainbow high, what do you look like? But I don't see that one. But maybe it's after this. But I love that it, like, walks you through your experience of being a Rainbow High student. That is extremely adorable. Like, and I love the little dress form page. And I don't know. It's like, well, now imagine yourself with cool hair. Now imagine yourself next to the statue. Like, it's an immersive walkthrough experience. And I love that. And then we've got me and my BFF party ready. So me and Kaya Hart for sure, who I know I can't draw. So we're not even going to try. Also, I tried to mimic the Rainbow High Art style at first. And then I was like, you know what? No, I cannot. I don't, I have no idea how they do that. So that's why it's like not Rainbow High Art style at all. Um, oh, this is my BFF being accepted to Rainbow High. Interesting. Um, well, whatever you wear on your first day, it seems will be your only outfit. So choose wisely for your first day outfit. God, that'd be a lot of pressure. <laughs> um... Cleared it. No? So this is Radiant Week. So uh, it's a bit out of order. Like, you start at Radiant Week. That's pretty daunting because I'm pretty sure Radiant Week is finals week. There it is. You've been accepted into Rainbow High. All right. I'll be right back. I'm going to let's draw the acceptance. For the first one, I was a little nervous. Like, I wasn't really being very creative with it, I guess. But with this one, I went full in on, like, the fantasy of, like, yes, I am a Rainbow High student. I got to be at least somewhat fashionable. I got to be interesting. I got to have something going on. So I had a lot more fun with this one. Um, unfortunately, there's already a butterfly-themed character and a character with actual wings. So this wasn't incredibly creative, I guess. I don't know. Um, but I had a lot of fun with this. So I really, really like this. I fully, like, I was not going to put this much effort into any pieces in this thing, for this video at least. Like, you know, I was just going to demonstrate, like, look, here's some fun stuff. But no, I, I had fun with this. This was a sport to me. This was a sport to me. And I had great fun. And I'm very glad that I decided to give myself a fanny pack. <laughs> All right. This one, I got really carried away with this. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. So this is my first day at Rainbow High. I don't know why my outfit is this intense for my first day, but then I changed my hair and my outfit's really lame. I think, you know what? I showed up in an understated outfit to get my hair changed because I didn't want anything to get stained or something. That's what we're going with. Later, I put the wings on. Ooh, I forgot to color in my antenna. And for some reason I did like fairy antenna. No, we want moth feelers is what we want. Yeah, we got feather antenna. Just like a moth. Okay. So, this is my masterpiece. Yeah. We've got ribbon shoes. Rainbow High does that. We've got butterfly shoes. Rainbow High does that. We've got moth wings. It's in the realm of possibility for sure at this point. 
not a rainbow high, but it's shadow high. But I'm like the rainbow high version of Eliza, you know? But we're besties. We don't care about the weird school rivalry thing. I was never too into that kind of stuff to begin with. So, yeah. And then um, my hair is still brown. We need some brown haired characters at Rainbow High. Um, but I've got like cool dip dyed green. Or you decide. Maybe I had my hair green at some point and it's like extremely grown out. Either way. Yeah. So that's that. Um, and I'm going to wrap it up there. I had a lot of fun with this. Normally, I don't touch this sort of thing because, you know, it's a static piece of my collection. But I'm not planning on selling it. And the display part is the cover, really. So I don't really mind coloring it. And maybe I'll have more fun coloring the other pages, too. This is definitely the best Rainbow High Activity book I have seen so far. I really like this. For $20, though, I'm not so sure how I feel about it because, I mean... The the supplies are fine, but there's not enough to me. Oh my god, I bent this with my arm. <gasps> it's not creased though, it'll be okay. Yeah, it's fine. There we go. Gosh. Um, if there were more of these, absolutely would be justified, like if all of the extra coloring pages were like this. Um, I like that there's coloring stickers. That's fun and pretty novel, and I like that it's a material that actually makes sense for a coloring sticker. I approve of that. The stickers are also quite fun, although we don't have any like glitter or foil or anything. I'm just thinking of like a $20 price point. This is basically the Rainbow High coloring books, just with better prompts. So I'm going to give a maximum $5 value to this, right? The supplies, I'll give them 5 bucks there. But can I justify $10 for all of this stuff, too, when I've already overpriced the other stuff, too? I don't know. Um, now, what I would say is to make this set 100% worth it to me, uh, to me, let me, to me, include a pencil box or a pencil bag. I know I have a ton of Rainbow High pencil bags already, but, like, Give me somewhere to put all of my Rainbow High pencils and stuff that I got with this set. Or, they're not pencils, like my crayons and my pens. Like, I need somewhere to put all this stuff when I'm on the road, on, a, like, a road trip coloring in my Rainbow High super sketchbook. I also think it's funny that it's called a super sketchbook. And there's only, I mean, to be fair, there are, like, sketch pages. Um, the Rainbow High art style is extremely intimidating, though. I would like a How to Draw Rainbow High coloring book, please, because this art style is extremely difficult to figure out. But I absolutely love that if you're following along in the show, I mean, or if that you've seen the show in general, because this is quite old at this point, there's no, like, Rainbow Vision stuff in it or anything, um, you get to, like, play out what happened in the show. And then even if you haven't, like, seen the show, it tells you, like, Radiant Week... Um, we want you to innovate something. You can make a song or an outfit or whatever else, and you get to draw it. Like, how cute is that? That is so much fun. And then you get to, like, picture yourself as a Rainbow High character. I, I just don't understand the order of this. This should be the first page, but this is so fun. This is so, so fun. Also, I'm kind of proud of this drawing. I haven't drawn in years. Like, consistently, I have not drawn since, like, probably 2018. 2017, 2018. So, we are stagnant and... I'm feeling the need to defend myself. Um, and then, you know, I would I would have drawn a Maya if I could. This is a disaster. Yeah, don't use the coloring supplies that it comes with. Oh, it'll leave you hurt. It'll leave you hurt and confused. This is probably my favorite one, but I'm genuinely intimidated by it. That's why I didn't do it. Like, I'm intimidated. <laughs> this is very, very cute. I really, really love this. The unicorn statue. I wish it gave me a reference for the unicorn statue. Like, you just gotta know. And the color block party. Me and Kaya hanging out. <laughs> and then, I guess my BFF is an underclassman. Either that, or this should be closer to the first page. But, like, what's my friend gonna wear on, the first, on their first day? And what's their focus? I don't know. Angel, do this. Go ahead. Screenshot this. Draw me a little picture. Anyways, that's it for this video. This was very fun. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And let me know if you like this better. Normally, I just show the set. I show how the supplies work. Excuse my, um, this is me testing colors before I color it on the pages. But, you know, like, I usually just do this and call it a day. But do you prefer when some action actually occurs with the, the stuff that it comes with? I don't know. Let me know. I mean, with these, though, this I like in black and white. Like, I just think this is so pretty. Or I guess a uh, foil in white. I wish there was more foil stuff, though. I really do. And I guess these... I'm, I'm just confused where, where I'm going to use these. Like, what... I guess you could use them on your... On here. Like, that's my crystal headband. That is actually a decent size. Not for Rainbow High standards, but... Um, but yeah. 
for real this time. That's it for this video. Sorry, I'm shaking the camera. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye!